Hello, my good human. In today's video, I am teaching you three super simple ways that you can self-soothe. What do I mean by self-soothe? I mean down-regulate your nervous system, feel more grounded in your body, kind of grounded, and at ease because there's so many times throughout our day whether it's if we wake up with anxiety, if we go to sleep and we have anxiety or just feel lethargic and not very present, these three simple self-soothing tools will help you. So let's go ahead and get started with the first one. So the first one is something I learned in my somatic experiencing training back in the day and it's very simple. So you take one of your hands, I'm gonna do my right hand, and you stick it under your left armpit. And you hold your, your rib cage, this is the top of our rib cage here. You take your left hand and put it on your right shoulder. So essentially, you're giving yourself a hug. And as you have your hands here, I want you to bring your attention to the surface supporting you. So your chair is supporting you, my couch here is supporting me, and the floor, the carpet underneath my feet is supporting me. So what is it for you? Go ahead and do this with me. We'll, we'll self-soothe together. So bring your attention to the surface that is supporting you your chair, your couch. And this is slow. We need time for our systems to slow down and regulate. As you're here, notice the temperature of your hands. It could be warm, cool. Maybe your left hand is a different temperature than your right hand. That is all okay and very much welcome just noticing the temperature of your hands and as they make contact with your body, that temperature may change. Great, and then notice your breath. Bringing your attention to your breath, not changing it or adjusting it, just noticing your breath. Because in between your two hands is your lungs, your diaphragm. And that is your, you know, very important parts of your respiratory system. Great, that's the first one, super simple. You can do it anywhere. You can do it lying down if you're in bed before you wake up or if you ever have trouble falling asleep, right? You can teach your, your kids how to do this. You can do it as you're, you know, waiting in line for something. It's, it's pretty subtle, right? And, and you can do it with whatever hand feels best. There's no really rhyme or reason to why I, I like to do it this way. <laughs> okay, so the second one, the second one is going way back to one of my teachers told me that they used to use this in um, psych wards back in the day. So it's uh, one of those ones that has proven to be effective over time from a long time ago, right? So we take our hands again, right? Our hands are, are can be very healing for in terms of self-soothing. So whatever hand you want, I'm gonna use my right hand. Take it to the back of your head and place it at your the nape of your neck where your neck meets your head, right here. On the other side, I'll show you here. I don't know if you can see that cupped right at the back of your neck, the very top of your spine. Take your other hand, this is my left hand, and put it on your forehead. Great. So why, why are we doing this? Our hand on our forehead here, this is the part of our brain, it's called the prefrontal cortex, our thinking brain. So if we're someone that likes to think a lot, if we're overthinkers, if our mind is busy, 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 whether it's for whatever reason, maybe we're spiraling, 
in thoughts or emotion or perhaps we've just had a busy day at work and we want to calm down. This is a really nice way to bring the back of the brain, which is the feeling somatic part of the brain, to the thinking brain and just inviting the space between your two hands to rest easy. So rest in the support of gravity. And if you want, as you're here, you can bring your attention to the surface supporting you. Your chair is supporting you, the ground is supporting you, and your breath is right here with us. It's flowing in and out. Mm -hmm. Great. This one you can also do lying down, right? Then you, you don't have to hold your arms. Your arms can be supported if you're lying down by the surface underneath you. The third self-soothing tool I have for you today is something you need your imagination for, a little visualization, because we are going to visualize or sense into the femur bone. And I'll put a photo right here of the femur bone. Why the femur bone? For most people, this is soothing. Some people, depending if you've had injuries or illnesses here, it may not be. For most folks, the femur bone is super helpful. Why? Because it's the most dense bone in our entire body. And what are bones? Bones are, are solid, they're sturdy, and they're strong. And if we're feeling a bit overwhelmed or you know, maybe a little bit lethargic or frozen, it's really nice to kind of get the system to kind of perk up and become more present. So bring your both of your hands to your, your femur bones, so to your legs. Put them on your legs like this, like this. You can do this sitting is really nice. Having your feet just flat on the ground hands on your or your thighs, your femur bones, right? And just going ahead again, you'll notice there's a pattern here. Notice that you're supported by the surface underneath you. Your chair, your couch or pillow. Great. And then start to bring your attention using this image to your femur bones. You can bring your attention to your right side first. Sometimes it's easier to do one leg than the other. So bring your attention kind of like if you had like laser beams on the bottom of your hand that could feel into your femur bone on your leg. Bring your attention to your femur bone on your right leg Great. And then shift your attention to your femur bone on your left leg. Great. And as you do that, start to notice your breath, not change it or adjust it. Just acknowledging that your breath is right here with us. Great. And as you hold your attention there, it's like gazing at the sunset. It's a gentle attention. It's not a frenetic, I gotta get this right kind of attention. Because with practice, you'll feel that you're getting it right. And then you know, oh, I am doing this right. Okay? So it's not about getting it right the first time you try this. It's just noticing the subtle shifts that happen within your body, within your physiology. Your heart rate might change. The temperature of your body may change. Your breathing will become more full, right, as your system soothes, self-soothes and regulates because your nervous system is coming more into that rest and digest and parasympathetic state, right? That sympathetic is kind of taking a, taking a back seat 
and the parasympathetic can, can come on and you can rest. So those are my three self-soothing somatic tools for you today. I hope your nervous system is happy and your whole body system is um, taking these on and enjoying them. If you have any comments, you know where to do that. Comment below which one is your favorite. Usually one resonates with people the most. So I wanna know what your favorite one is. And I'll see you in the next video. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and take good care. Ciao.